Hello and welcome to my presentation. Going into the first year of the course in August 2018, I had recently completed my three-year business admin apprenticeship at Terrasac Electric Europe Limited. Upon the completion of my apprenticeship, I was offered a role at the company in the purchasing and logistics department. From an early stage of my time at Terrasaki, my professional development goals was clear. Try and climb the proverbial ladder as quickly as I could, whether that be at Terrasaki or not was still unclear at the time, but I knew nonetheless that I wanted to be at least in a middle management position relatively early on in my professional career. As far as personal development was concerned, my main goals focused on my conduct and behaviour around senior members of management. This was because at the time I was a 19 year old newly finished apprentice at the company and as such I did not command an awful lot of attention or frankly respect amongst the senior members of the Terasaki management hierarchy. As previously stated, being someone with lofty professional ambitions I recognise that as I moved up through the company my conduct around senior management and making a good impression around them would mean just as much to me going forward for my career as my day to day performance. As you can see from the excerpt, I also made to be trusted with a project of this size and scope in the future another one of my targets. The project I undertook and helped spearhead in WBL1 was the first major project I was entrusted with at the company and as such I was determined to do a good job to repay my manager's faith in me and showcase my ability to take on a similar sized project in the future. Over the course of the academic year we undertook three different academic modules. Creativity, Enterprise and Entrepreneurship, Leadership and Management and Global Economics and Business Environment. Whilst all proved valuable and interesting topics, it was perhaps the Leadership and Management module that I found myself most engaging with in my professional career. It is in this module that we were introduced to the work of Buchanan and Nuczynski, whose literature I would go on to reference at many points of my academic journey. The module, also, the module also gave me a foundation knowledge I needed to become an effective team leader, Using the knowledge gained throughout the module, I was able to successfully lead the WBL1 project, the duty management system, to its near completion. For example, the effective leadership practices I learned from the module, I was able to directly apply to the project in the form of pilot testing from the, the new software. This in turn helped me reach my goal of becoming more confident around senior members of management, as these meetings and tests often took place in their company. These meetings helped showcase my skill and performance to them, and on reflection, I feel as if it helped me greatly for projects and meetings further down the line. Upon completion of the first year of the course and going into the second year in August 2019, my development outcomes remained very similar to the goals I set myself in the first year. I felt as if the goals I set in first year had been largely achieved due to the engagement with the uni's academic attributes, and I was now personally feeling much more confident and calm around senior members of staff at the company. But I wanted to make sure that I really hammered these things home during the second year of the course and ensure that these things would never be a concern of mine again. As you can see from the excerpt in the slide, one of my main goals for the upcoming WBL2 project was to further develop my knowledge and understanding of company processes. The project I was about to undertake was going to see me very heavily coordinate tasks between different departments at the company and, as such, I thought it would be a good opportunity for me to enhance my understanding of company processes from different perspectives from different departments. This, I felt, would give me a stronger knowledge base of the day-to-day -day procedures that need to be carried out in a variety, by a variety of people in order to maintain a successful business. And to relate back to my goals I set out for myself in the first year, a widening of these pers perspectives and horizons would likely aid me in managing large groups of people if I were to ever become a senior manager at the company. Over the course of the academic year, we undertook three different academic modules, marketing, business analytics, and people in business. I found that engaging with the business analytics and the people in business modules particularly helpful towards my personal and professional goals over the course of the year. The business analytics module helped give me the knowledge I needed to carry out various forms of safety stock and stock value analysis that you can see on the slides. This analysis helped me play a major role over the course of the project as my findings were the basis in which the entire project was built around. The people in the business, the people in business module proved to be an extremely useful to me as the theory contained in the module helped me gain a better understanding of how to manage different types of characters you come across when managing a large scale project. Please see several of the useful pieces of literature I engaged with during the module 
and then again during the conducting of the project. In terms of the goals I set myself at the beginning of the year, I felt as if my interpersonal skills with other members of the company and senior management had improved significantly. I was now almost sure that I had showcased an ability to lead a large-scale project at the company. Finally, I felt as if my knowledge of the day that the day-to-day -day workings at the company had improved. I found myself to be much more compassionate with other departments if things had gone wrong, as I now had a newfound understanding of the process at the department and the potential procedural risks working in that department. Once again, I finished an academic year of uni feeling as if I had broadened my academic, personal and professional horizons. In the lead-up to the commencement of our third academic year, I was given a promotion at Terasaki. I was now a material planner at the company and the role involved me managing and coordinating a small number of staff at the business. As a result of this promotion, my goals for the academic year were clear. I wanted to learn further on the various aspects surrounding managing people as individuals and leading people in a team. Luckily, during the module titled Management Decision Making, I was able to take a more in-depth investigation into the decision making process that managers and leaders need to go through on an almost day-to-day -day basis when working within, within an organisation. I found that engaging with this module, after engaging with this module, I was able to make high pressure decisions with more ease on a regular basis. I was also able to firmly recognise that people in business often have different motivations and therefore behave slash react different in different ways to leaders and managers. This allowed for me to maintain a harmonious and happy department during one of the most unprecedented times for business during my professional career, Brexit and COVID. Please see the academic theory I used to underpin and shape my leadership style as I was growing into the role of a team leader. Before the start of our final year at uni, several of the senior managers at Terasaki announced that they would be retiring over the next couple of years, with a few members of the senior management team opting to begin a period of phased out retirement meaning they would gradually drop the, the number of days they would work a week until the point they fully retire. The vast majority of these people had, much like me, joined the company at an early age and progressed through the hierarchy of the company to be in the positions they are in today. Knowing the company's penchant for organic growth and upcoming senior management team retirement spout, my main goal for the year was to qualify with the highest degree classification I can manage. This would put me in a good position for consideration for future promotions as it would demonstrate my ability to accurately take on academic learning whilst also holding a position in full-time employment. Another goal I set myself at the start of the academic year was to gain a knowledge and understanding for effective str future strategic business planning. With the senior management team mostly leaving, within, leaving the business within the next few years, I anticipated the business will experience a strategic review with the view to changing slash altering their strategy once the new management team were to take over. With this in mind, I hope to learn more about the process of change in business to better place me to instigate or adapt to the presumed change the company will go through in the near future. Luckily for me, both modules we have undertaken so far in our final year will help me achieve this long-term goal. Moving forward from this course, I feel as if the Business in the Age of Acceleration module will help me greatly with the upcoming changes at the company. For example, the business is rumoured to be considering a change of software to move to the AX365 programme. And the knowledge I gained from this module will help me adapt to this change going forward. As will the organisation change module we are currently undertaking at the same time of this presentation. Once the course is finished, I have thought about developing in the following areas. Academic. I hope that I obtain a good enough degree classification to give me the option to sit a master's degree sometime in the near future. I want to do this for two different reasons. The first most obvious reason is that it is a further qualification that highlights my in-depth knowledge of a subject, increasing my chance of career progression, but also makes me a, a more attractive potential employee to businesses outside my current one. The second reason I hope to obtain a master's soon is it gives me the chance to do a postgraduate course, opening the door to switching careers. Whilst I have no intention to do this at the present, it would certainly be a good option to have going forward. Professional. In a professional sense, I hope to continue climbing the ranks at Terasaki. I feel as if there is a relatively clear path for me to do so, and the honours degree I hope to pick up soon will certainly aid that. 
If I manage to play a part in the company's upcoming strategic change following the retirement of senior management, I will feel quite content. I feel as if being one of the younger people at the business, I have ideas that can help modernise the company and bring it further into the 21st century. Personal. In a personal sense, I would like to continue my personal growth towards it, being a confident and well-rounded young professional. I feel as if the course has helped me provide me with the tools to always look at situations and people with an open mind. And I feel as if this has taken me a long way in both my professional career with colleagues and in my personal life with family and friends. Whether or not it be via academia, I hope to continue this self-improvement journey I have been on. Thank you for listening to my presentation.